Hi guys, I'm going to quickly let our train of thought and I just want to share it with you. So last year, Donald Trump went to the Middle East. He met with the UAE, Saudi Arabia. He went there. They had a nice time and came back shortly afterwards. The UAE, Saudi Arabia and its neighbours cut ties with Qatar. Qatar is now meeting or the Emir of Qatar is now meeting with Donald Trump. And I think that is in an effort to reconnect ties with its neighbours in exchange for allowing military troops or assets in Qatar that would give the United States and Israel um, and Saudi Arabia a nice coverage surrounding Iran with troops in Iraq, Saudi Arabia as an ally, United Arab Emirates as an ally. After the pressure that's been applied to Qatar, they'll probably become an ally or, you know, allow things to take place. Um, Israel has just been allowed for the first time in 70 years to use Saudi Arabia's airspace for a commercial flight, but that could also extend to military flights as they're being accused of, but Saudi Arabia is not confirming. That would obviously give Israel a direct path through Saudi Arabia to Iran. If they did launch a nuclear attack, sorry, not a nuclear attack, but if they did launch an attack on Iran, which resulted in nuclear missiles coming out, because that would be terrible. But we don't know if Iran has nuclear missiles. My su suspicion is they do, and it involves a very touchy subject for some people, but I open myself to all all the information I can. It involves the Uranium One deal, the accusation that has been laid against Hillary Clinton, the, Hillary, uh, the Secretary of State, something dodgy went on there. Now, if the Secretary of State, which was Hillary Clinton, in the Obama, in the Obama administration, approved the sale of US uranium mining facilities to Russia's state atomic energy company, and Russia's state atomic energy company, or Putin himself, gave those mining facilities to Iran, Iran would have the equipment, the knowledge and the resources to be able to develop a nuclear missile or two in within an eight year span. This facilities were sold in 2010, eight years later, a company, uh, a country that is capable would definitely be able to produce a few nuclear missiles. If that happens, the backlash for attacking Iran won't be on Donald Trump. It will be on Obama because it will be claimed that the access to the ability to build nuclear weapons was acquired through the Uranium One deal, which was approved by the Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and others in the Obama administration. It's all linked up. Not only that, but obviously you've got the, the recent appointment of John Bolton. He's a known hawk um, on Iran. Everything's kind of set up to really go after Iran, but the surprise could be that Iran does have nuclear weapons and an attack on them would result in a nuclear attack coming out of there. Not only that, but Iran is also an ally of Russia. Russia, which has the nuclear drone. Russia, which has the hypersonic Satan II missile. Russia, which has been preparing and displaying its military for the last couple of months now. Their claims that they have approached the United States undetected. They're pressuring in the English Channel. The snooping around the data cables which carry the internet, or at least the majority of it. There's a lot going on, and it's all escalating in this week. Coming up is Friday the 13th, obviously a, a known unlucky day, or, you know, if you don't believe in that, it's at least known to be a superstitious day, Friday the 13th, and then you've got all these references to Saturday Night Massacre, and obviously following Friday the 13th is Saturday the 14th. Um, on the 14th, right, February the 14th, they did the um, manipulation of the Valentine's Day Massacre from history, and brought it forward in terms of a school shooting, which resulted in a massive movement in terms of gun control and safety. You know, some people saying they want the age to be improved. Some people saying they want teachers to have guns. Some people saying that they want guns removed altogether. There's a whole clash dividing the, the United States right down essentially the red and blue line. Uh, Jesus said it first, a house divided cannot stand. The United States motto, United, sta United we stand, divided we fall. It appears that that is not taken into the actual hearts of the citizens. It's rather just something they say to, I don't know, sound cool, I guess. But it's the truth. If you're part of a community, you cannot stand when you're divided. And there's a lot dividing America at the moment. There's a lot dividing the world at the moment. But the things going on in America with... You know, everything that Donald Trump does splits the country right down the middle. The gun control splits the country right down the middle. It's just 
it's just craziness going on, but it's all orchestrated craziness. It's chaos. It's order out of chaos, and that's their achievement. Have so many things going on. There's so much chaos going on. People can't focus and bring it all together. <coughs> I'm trying, but even me, I find it that my attentions are drawn in completely different places from day to day. You know, one minute there's focus on the Middle East, and then there's focus on North Korea, then there's focus on submarines and volcanoes and earthquakes and it's all going on but I'm not going to stop <laughs> you know I'm not going to stop because I know there's something here I feel something here all the things that have been exposed in the last couple of weeks has been eye-opening um for me personally you know even though I'm the one making the video they're eye-opening for me before I make the video so I just wanted to bring all that to your attention um I, I have a feeling after this meeting that the Amir's Qatar has with Donald Trump, there's either going to be some news about ties being reconnected in the Middle East in reference to Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and its other neighbours, or there's going to be some news about maybe some military assets or military troops being in or around Qatar, and that will be in an effort to prepare for this attack on Iran, which, as I said, may result in a nuclear response directly from Iran, which could have nuclear weapons due to the Uranium One deal, or... As I said, Iran is Russia's ally and Russia could just respond on behalf of Iran and they have enough nuclear weapons to do that. So you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening and God bless.